Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Thousand Week Right, I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. I'm not a burial lover, but we have Oath of Reclamation to talk about. I, as a citizen of the Union of the Soviet Socialist Republics, entering into the ranks of the Red Army of the Workers and Peasants, take this oath and solemnly promise to be a honest, brave, disciplined, vigilant fighter, staunchly to protect military and state secrets, and unquestionably to obey all military regulations and orders of commanders and superiors. I promise conscientiously to study military affairs in every way to protect state secrets and state property, and to my last breath to be faithful to the people, the Soviet motherland, and one and the only legitimate worker peasants government. I am always prepared to or on order other workers and peasants government to rise to the defend of the defense of my motherland. The Union of the Soviet Socialist Republics, and as a fighting man of the Red Army of Workers and Peasants, I promise to defend it bravely, skillfully, with dignity and honor, sparing neither my blood nor my life itself. For the achievement of total victory over our enemies, I will not show sympathy to traitors of the pe workers' peasants' government, nor bow to illegal authorities, false idols that have infested this world. If by evil intent I should violate this, my solemn oath and let the severe punishment of the Soviet law and total hatred and contempt of the working class befall me. We serve the Soviet Union as we're talking about expanding the REP. The revised economic plan has been a major success with the wise... <clears throat> Wisdom, with the wisdom of the reformist regime, this momentum should be fully utilized, meaning that the revised economic plan should massively scale up its operation, enlarging the benefits that will bring it to the Union. The show must go on. If the legitimate Union of the Soviet Socialist Republics, there is nothing to worry about. Therefore, the state will do the utmost to ensure that civilian activities remain unchanged for as long as possible, which I... Oh, hello. Russian Empire. Also, uh, got comments go through. So this one gives us more weekly stability. This will be canceled once a war starts, which sucks. Hopefully, um... As, so, there was a hot fix between this episode and the last one, which broke all the saves. So, basically, I had to replay this entire thing. So, it is what it is. So, instead of the, who we're fighting over here, now it's Zukov over here. That, and who has Zukovism? And, uh, yeah, he's still going down his tree here. So, eventually, he will try to fight us, which is not good. Um, and in and around Perm. When we go to war, the. Most divisions will spawn near Perm. Oh my god, that sucks. That really sucks. We better have those tanks ready to go then. Um, yeah, that's not good. Barrier Thaw. Uh, do we want to do that one? A Soviet industrial leap? Oh, this one. The general perception of the venture barrier is still negative in nature. No matter how much willingness to reform he shows or how drastically he might improve this economic situation, most had nothing but negative thoughts associated with Barrier. These people see Barrier as a tyrannical murder, with some viewing Barrier as nothing but a degenerate rapist in chief. This is a dangerous uh, situation for the administration. To improve the General Secretary's image, a series of social reforms will be announced. Perhaps Beer can finally fix his image with a thaw? Uh, where's Perm? Perm's up here. So that, Actually, I'm glad to look at the focus tree. That's kind of ridiculous. That the Soviets... Or the... Not Soviets. The... That Zukov can do that. So we're still trying to work here on improving the supply situation. Because it's... Oh, God, so bad. But yeah. As someone did ask, is it... Does... Um, Thousand Week Reich updated with no setback, and it is. That's why I put it in the thumbnail. It is. So, it's totally fine to play, even though your saves might be busted from time to time, but it is what it is. We definitely need more planes around here, but... Oh, we got it done. Nice. Um, if that's the case, go and put one up there like we did last episode, so that should be okay. The show must go on. And we're doing okay. We're doing all right for now. The show must go on. At least we get more stability, more population. As long as we get 100% stability, I'll be okay with that. Good. A very thought. A lot of information of the ASSRs and SRs. And then Soviet Industrial Leap. So we get a whole whopping two factories. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, that's, that's okay. It's not bad, but still. Our industrial capacity was decimated from within and without. With the German conquest of the traders breaking apart the motherland, the USSR requires a restart of our industrial cap capabilities to hopefully rebuild the Soviet Union. Therefore, the industry must take a leap, a leap that could bring us closer to victory. Develop the core. Yeah, factories would be nice. And don't get me wrong, I do want them, but... It's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Yeah, fighting Zukov is going to be a pain in the butt, though. It's going to be god-awful. In order to tell. Ooh, and we've really actually fixed this quite a bit. Oh, that's so much better supply. Up here is going to suck really badly. I did already throw some logistic companies on these guys, but we'll see. We'll definitely have to wait and see, which is not good, but... Oh, well. And we're going to get some T-55 tanks. <sighs> Keep building them up. Keep building up the railroads. Because we could definitely use more supply through here, probably. Zukov is not going to be easy to beat. Oh, my gosh. Look at those tanks. Um... They probably have a lot of anti-tank on them. Mm. Very a thaw, though. We're going to need a lot of piercing. In a closed-door meeting between party officials and members of the government, an important decision was made regarding the social atmosphere of the Soviet Union. Announced on Radio Moscow and printed on the front page of all major Soviet newspapers, General Secretary Beria and his cabinet announced a list of groundbreaking reform plans. 
The Central Committee has promised to uphold freedom of speech and freedom of assembly by lowering the restrictions set by the Censor and Licensing Bureau. In addition, the government is now encouraging creative expression that would improve the quality of life, while allowing a limited amount of criticism to be raised on lo local politicians and lower party officials. However, any published political commentary will still be vigorously reviewed to ensure political stability and anti-Soviet rhetoric will be remain banned. Who needed political research speed? So I just want to go through here as fast as possible. I mean, building slots is okay. We could definitely use more military factories, but purge purgers. Some of us officers are getting comfortable with their positions of power. However, these same individuals are usually the ones that know too much. Liabilities must be swiftly eliminated. Keep on them roads for now. Or railroads, I guess, technically. It's all right. Good. Soviet industrial leap. Good, 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 good. 75% stability is not enough. These guys probably have a ton, 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 ton. Oh, I mean, not a ton of divisions, but not a bad amount of divisions. Um, yeah, th these guys are not going to be easy to beat. I mean, he's... Zukov. Mm. Of course, I did convert these guys to all infantry. Um, we need more guns. We need a lot of everything. We're good on APCs. We're okay on trains. So convert them all to 18 com with the division here with anti-air, which does help out with piercing, right? A little bit. Not much, but a little bit. It helps out with anti-air. Of course, logistics, like I said earlier, we have engineers as well, which will come in handy quite a bit. Oh my goodness. Look at that forward attack. Plus 20% more forward attack, more defense. Rever defense and movement. Support artillery just for more soft attack. So I hope we can do well here. We'll see what happens. So yeah. And also with the hot fix, uh, these guys actually have more strength, which is nice. They started with like 40, 42 ish percent, I think, fighting strength when we started, when I restarted this campaign. So we've been doing a little better. A little, a little better. So we'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens with them. And we're still trying to build ourselves up. Of course, 55. Uh, proposed a white pack last time we did this sale. Yes, why not? Oh, it is 55, so uh, get more output. Ooh, but more base is not bad. Get more output, though. I want more output. We need more industry. We need more We just need more stuff. Oh, my goodness. So I think the way to defeat these guys will probably try to swarm and just mass charge into them. Or, of course, we'll have to defend, but uh, we'll see what happens. The Russian Republic. Wait. What happened to the Russian Empire? So now we have Solzhenitsyn. I don't know how to pronounce his name that well, so my apologies, but y you get what I mean. We get, what, 0.35 political power every single day? Oh, tanks. Oh, that means... Oh, we're not making... No, we're making medium tanks, right? Did I not make medium... Oh, my goodness. Did I not... I did not make medium tanks. Oh. Oh, that's not ideal. Mm... No, no, they're right here. Yeah. We already have one on them. Okay, that's good. Whew. All right. I'm glad we did get that one done. So, after that, merge the uh, agencies. NKVD, MGB, GRU, NKGB, the Soviet Union. As simply too many agencies with overlapping responsibilities and powers to, simply, to simplify security affairs, the Bayer administration has decided to merge all these agencies into a sing single super agency. Ooh, that sounds really great. Uh, fiercely loyal and given the range of powers. Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively, literally. Oh, crap. Now the people want to come kill us, too, huh? This is not going to go well. I definitely don't have to do some glitchy stuff here. Um, keep you guys around Perm. Where's Perm? Perm's up here. Oh, we actually, oh, we actually made a division. Look at that. That's kind of nice. Yeah, you just stay there in Perm. Just stay there. Ha hang out. Have a good old time. Yvonne is really good in defense. So you, you literally just stay there. Hang out. Have a good time. You know, all that good stuff. Oh, uh, we didn't get enough weekly stability. Oh, man. That sucks. They're claiming the Euro Mountains. Because these guys have a new social state. Prepare for the Western push. Oh my gosh. Does that not expire? Come on, man. That's stupid. Russian attack bonus. Hopefully it goes to two-front war, because he also gets attack and defense on core territory. Mass affections. Serbian news is a major portion of our army's chosen to defect the enemy. They've taken a significant number of weapons and men with them. But hopefully that won't affect us too much in the long run. Great unification war will be removed by next year. Crap. Wait, what? Where did our army go? What? What? What are they doing? What are they banning the... Oh my god, what the heck? I did not tell them to do that. I, I didn't even tell them to do anything. Why are they all the way over here? What? What? What the heck? Oof. Ah. Um. Okay, so it looks like they went to war with us. And they... When we go to war with us, most of your divisions will spawn your perm. Well, it doesn't seem like it happened. It's still early in the war. You never know. So my goal is just to hold the line as much as possible. Oh, there we go. We received urgent reports of an uprising near the temporary capital. We must deal with the threat immediately. Put them all down. Okay, so they're not that many divisions, which is good, but still. Uh, I want you to send you guys up here. I'll send you guys up there, too. 
Is that it? Just three divisions? Three? We can deal with three. Three's not bad. Go find them and kill them all off. Good. Got some jet engines. Nice. Uh, better planes would be very good as well. How are we doing on the front line? Are we still at least holding somewhere? Dang, dang it, they took that supply depot. Come on. That's stupid. Are, why did it... I, I can't explain why the division just moved that way. It makes no sense why. Like, why did our divisions, like, go back? That's so stupid. No, no, I'm sorry, but no, this is stupid. Yeah, no. At least let them all die if they're going to do that. Do not lose Omsk. Do not lose it. Yeah, kill your division off. Seriously, kill, kill, just kill them off. At this point, go in. How many minutes did I lose? 18,000 is not enough. You guys, I'm not worried about Batov doing it well here. So, the Perjure Perjures. With Ab Abba Kumov out of the picture. The staff and officers that have contributed to this operation shall be rewarded. We're rewarded their names on a list and a crime associated to their name. And yet another effort to clear his own name, bury him, and his most loyal supporters have orchestrated a purge of the NKVD, pinning almost all the crimes committed during his regime to these officers. Alongside of the secret arrest of these individuals, Barry Assam intensely made the banner known to the party, and since his loyal staff recorded the NKVD's personal family information, the scapegoats were blackmailed into compliance. Nobody's above responsibilities. Hey, we actually get political power finally. Lose some manpower, but that's okay. More encryption? Nice. Good. That's actually very good. More encryption is very good to get. Liberating Mother Russia. We're prepared for the final battle. The Soviet Union must be liberated by the rightful government, and the true light of socialism will shine once again in these dark times. A couple comments, though. Uh, someone says, keep doing more Thousand Week Reich. Uh, I tend to for a while. Actually, with the whole Thousand Week Reich, thousand week Reich update, I, I do want to do more Thousand Week Reich, especially with all the Russias here. Yeah, you can do a little bit of Germany, too, just because I've never played as people's Germany, which is surprisingly holding out. Look at that. Because I've never played as them, I think, so... Yeah, so, so, like I said earlier, someone said the hot, hot fix broke my save, which is completely true, which sucked. Oh, well. And, oh, you actually won there, huh? And, yeah, this is with a new DLC. Go with Bulganin. Someone wants me to play Bastelard Tomsk in TNO and get Suslov eventually, too. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. Don't do that. Go around. Just, just go around them if you can. When in doubt, go around them. Take their pants off and go around them. Well, maybe not do that, but, you know, whatever. 11,000 versus 21,000. Not bad. Not great, obviously. Um, who's not moving? Everyone is moving in a certain direction. Which is good, but still. Keep the guys in place. Come on, move faster, move faster, move faster. Oh, crap, we got found out. Are you kidding me, dude? Get rid of these stupid tanks. Well, you're just gonna hold then. We can't do anything about this yet. Let them go, continue attacking us. This is so stupid. I hate Zukov so much. Guys, what the heck is taking you so god awfully long? Kill them off. Force the attack. Come on. Kill them off. We actually need them on the front line too, but... It's good. Uh, it is 55. Get some more industrial stuff going. Uh, disperse industry. Concentrated. Um, what are our focuses like? Develop the core. Yeah, looks like we'll, let's go concentrated this time. Oops, wrong one. Because we can. Oops, don't need to see that one. Probably don't need to see that one. Uh, there you go. Not bad. Could use a little more rubber, but whatever. Actually, can you just, like, go in? Just take all the VPs. Kimrobo and Novosibirsk as well. Krasnoyarsk. I hate enemy tanks so much. And they're just so hard to produce for yourself as well. Like, it's ridiculous. I don't want that, I guess. Hang out. We need to get a couple more supplies first. I mean, come on, guys. You want to go to war with us. So, you should be doing something like this here, then. Go that way. Yeah, no, you're not going to win here. Uh, take Omsk back. If they're not going to move in, we're going to take it back. We get, we deserve the supplies. They do not. If anything, you go around here like this. Oh. But no, 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 no. Go there. Oh, all the way down that way. Good. Oh, come on. You should be able to get in there before he got in there. That's so stupid. So stupid, man. Uh, let's go over there, too. There you go. See my north side? It's fine. Go this way. We're going to probably try to encircle us and kill yourself. 
Um, I don't want to get encircled here too badly. And a guy still need to fluctuate around the line a little bit more than this. Uh, actually, you guys go right. Omsk, and then do that. But we're going to lower the amount we're actually making here to one, because we just don't have the supplies for it right now. Come on. Oh, BGB form. The State of Security Bureau is the eventually bears catch all solution to the divided intelligence capacity of the Soviet Union being a merger of all aspects of political warfare and intelligence operations. Former operators of the different agencies have been assigned to work in the PGP. Now sworn a new oath of loyalty to the General Secretary of the and the Communist Party. Nice. Good. Good. Go this way and we can encircle them all, hopefully. Well, that's at least the goal. Yeah, no. I'm gonna die here, son. Good, good. This is exactly what I want to see. You know, have to move. Hopefully, we can actually attack and do well here, but you never know. You never know what TNO, you know. You know. Thousand Week Rock wants us to do. Good, good. Very good here. Go up, go up. Good, very good. Yes, yes. It's not a lot of divisions, but my god, I'll take whatever divisions we can kill off as fast as possible. And we got some more army XP. Great. Strategic retreat, more defense and organization is very, very good. And go right there, too. Uh, what are we doing here? Don't worry about that. I'm not using tanks just because our tanks are so bad anyway, so. Uh, keep them in place. Help attack your three divisions. Go bye-bye. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Help attack your two. I mean, they can link up. I don't really care. There's going to be four divisions gone anyway, so. That'd be fine with me. You guys. Stop out here. Stop out. Ah, good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. We have zero fuel, but... Hmm. Oh, we're still training. Probably should be training these guys. Go home. 81,000 have died. Not bad. This point. Can we really do too much else right now? Probably not. Um, I want to be able to do something like this. I kind of doubt that'll happen. I guess help support the attack there, too. Anything, actually. Could you circle a tank? Probably not, but we could try it. Yeah, I don't want to attack into the mountains too much, so... That'll be fine. Cut them off if you possibly can. You should be there by now, hopefully. There you go. There's a division still there. It's fine. Let's go that other guy. He definitely could use a port, though. No, I'm sorry, but no. Get out of there, you piece of garbage. Piece of doo-doo. Oh, wait, we have partisans here? Oh, no wonder we aren't doing so well. We have partisans here. Go. There you go. That's what we like to see. Kill off more divisions. They have up to 22 now. We have 41 divisions, which doesn't mean they're any good, but whatever. Um, yeah, go right there. That's fine. Go right there, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Screw Zukov, man. Banat. Banat is a funny country. Uh, take away their planes, if possible. Take away their planes. We need that airbase, so. Let's go right there, if you can. If you can go right there, that'd be great. Do that, and circle the tank, and kill it off. That'd be a major victory for us. Nice. New plan, we can do that. Yeah, we'll go into that one. For the foremost minister, a better economic plan will revive the Soviet Union. Followed up with, develop the greater interior. Or the greater interior. The Soviet Union's underdeveloped interior region requires special attention and investments. It's finally time for the government to address this problem. Not a bad idea. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get, you should be there by now. You should literally be there by now. Do not let the tanks in there right now. Come on, come on, come on. You should have taken it already. That's pathetic. Foot soldiers suck, man. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, they're not going to be able to take it. That's so stupid. Pathetic. Pathetic soldiers. Do we actually... Do we do it? Do we do it? Where'd the tank go? Did we actually do it? I'd be surprised if they actually got it. I'd be very surprised. But it looks like they might have gotten it. Ooh. Maybe they aren't so pathetic. But then again... We're still doing asymmetric warfare. 41. Oh! Oh! Good! Kill them all off! Kill every single last piece of garbage here, the beer and Soviet government. Kill yourself, please. How dare you go to war with me, Zukov? You're gonna crush you from both sides. I'm not gonna give these guys anything either, so. 
they can go kill themselves. And we're going to laugh all the way while they're doing it. Hmm, not hold since they're moving that way too. There's no way they can hold out this much, man. No way. 16 factories? Yeah, they're out of everything. Just like us, but still. New plan? Develop great interior. Thank you very much. Develop the core. The industrial core of the Soviet Union serves additional investments. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but you're going to be able to force the attack here. I'm not going to tolerate incompetence. Take notes, so be us, dude. If we lose division, so be it. They were inferior anyways. Go in. You die, you die. You all swore an oath to the Soviet Union anyway, so. Come on, take Nova Sibirsk. Come on. Come on. Oh, good. Good. Some better planes if we can. Better fighters always welcome here. Of course, they would get there faster. So stupid. Uh, no. You should have been able to get in there faster. Should have been able to. My goodness, the debuffs to army XP gain are insane. Minus 25% is so bad. Just so bad. We're not going to let up in, on any of these attacks. Anti-Soviet partisans. My god. How many debuffs do we get here? Way too many. Then again, when I play Zukov, I'm going to say, oh, Barry's overpowered. The Red Army. It looks good, but it's, and it's okay. It's not great. It's okay. Not bad. Fracture part. Um... Does that leave when we re reunify Russia? Public discontent should be gone down as well since we're doing reforms. Well, maybe there's a way to get rid of that, maybe. Unions and shambles, which still makes sense why we still have that, so can't complain about that one. I'm sure I can find a way, though. I'm sure I can find a way. No, you're going to win. No matter what, you're going to find a way to win. Every single one of these Zukov pigs going to have to die. Keep going that way. Doesn't matter how many die. Does not matter. We got plenty of manpower for this anyway, so. I like that they're attacking, but. Hmm. Yeah, he needs more debuffs. Slightly more, because this is a bit ridiculous. A bit ridiculous. Slight, just ever so slightly. Oh, they do have the... There's this one here, so... That little buff will go away, which is good. 55... Yeah, I'll get that stuff too. That's good. Kill yourself. Zukov. Ah, do all the core. Follow it up with... Expand the Ural Mines. Mining operations in the Ural Mountains will be highly beneficial for the operation of the Soviet Union. That'd be very good. Excuse me, sir. Do you uh, want me to speak about our Lord and Savior Beria? Drop his organization, man. Drop it. Do you anything else here? Um, FG Expert would not be bad. He has a logistic wizard, which is very nice, actually. Charismatic, who cares, Matic? We want more uh, recovery rate, please. Thank you very much. And I'm not even using tanks because we don't have any fuel, so. No point using them, right? Right. Take all the territory before these guys can get it. Kill yourself, Zukov. Kill yourself. Go for Krasnoyarsk. They probably have divisions in there, but whatever. Thank God it's finally done. They've done 13%. That's not, they're not, they're not going to get anything from us. Excuse me? You wanted to stop me? Excuse me? You will not stop our march. Oh, yeah. yeah Doom Force Defense. Doom Force Defense. Good. Because you're just going to die there then, anyways. And Krasnodarsk will be ours. Yay. Next level. More soft attack, better recovery rate, more land out attack, elastic defense, and resistance strike in states occupied by the enemies. Not bad. That should have been it. That, that really should have been it. Where's the capital? Right? Uh, capital? Did they... Hmm. They're still operating without a capital. That makes so much sense. Actually, just don't worry about going down there. I don't care. Win or die. You want to force the attack. They want to force defense, we'll force the attack. 
Look at all that stuff they have on them. Oh my goodness. So stupid, man. Good. At least we got rid of their, their buff. That's good. Then they roll mines. Thank you. And war for, workers' flexibility. Hmm. Rear industrialization. The Soviet Union's rear regions require further industrialization. Let's keep building ourselves up here. 60% is not bad. 70% is pretty nice, too. But we own some military factories, so they do that, too. We do it once. Nice. Zukov can eat a fat one. Don't care how weak our soldiers are. Zukov has killed hundreds of thousands of Russians for no reason. Literally no reason. He should be ashamed of himself. Yeah, State Security Apparatus of Bureau here. What do you think? Oh, they do have a capital up here, huh? That's stupid. Norals could not be a capital. But, like I said, I'm not going to give the Russian Republic anything. They're another enemy too, so... There you go. Get out of our territory, you piece of garbage. Yeah, I'm sorry, but Zukov... Mm, I, I, he needs buffs. He needs... Not buffs, but like... Be able to strong enough to defend, but... It seems like he's more of a warlord in Russia. Where if you don't win fast enough... You should start failing a little bit more. Like... You should have buffs at the early stages, like a Blitzkrieg sort of path, but after that, no. You should you should start failing pretty hard. Or not failing, but like, your initial charge should be a lot less. Fair to the revisionists? Yes. The revisionist elements claiming to be successors have been destroyed. It's up to, now to the government to enact justice upon these class traitors and enemies of the state. And right now, everyone, we are restarting Novosibirsk. Uh, Novosibirsk is an important industrial town of Siberia. It is of paramount importance that we get Novosibirsk industrial capabilities restarted as soon as possible. Hydroelectric power dam? Not bad. Uh, another civvy. Uh, let's go to the civvy first. The Soviet Union's rear regions require further industrialization, of course. Um, I am a little disappointed that uh, we had that focus earlier that gave us more weekly stability the show goes on with civilian activities protected can we get it back like yeah we had war but now it's over so is that i don't know why we can't get that back i mean it seems like it's not really an integral part of um i don't know integral part of the focuses but here but like i don't know it seems like it'd be nice to actually have it back also um we did do Fate of the Revisionists, but we never got the Fate of the Revisionists, I think. Actually, maybe we did. I, I don't think we did, though. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think we got the event for it, so... Maybe it was, a, like, a newspaper event that I didn't really talk about or see that I just clicked on, but I don't think we got that. I don't know. I could be wrong, but... Workers' flexibility. Workers should be able to have flexible working arrangements for maximized efficiency. Also, we can't do Fate of the Whites, because... Well, the Russian Republic cannot exist, but they do exist, and we can't justify on them. And we can't declare war on them. So... They have American military advisors. Uh, Anti-German rhetoric, which for now. Memories of Kerensky. Well, people actually mourn his loss, huh? Ford's labor. Traditional values. It's not bad. As well as populist economics. Okay, well, uh, I'm not really sure what else to say. Like, yeah. Really, really not sure what to say about, like, is there anything else we do? Engineering would be nuts. It's only 56, of course. We can't do any of that stuff. Extraction. We could do some extraction. Military factory construction speed. Still trying to build another supply base up here as well, so. Supplies are really bad. But, at least in this focus tree, which we don't know very much about, they can and will let you go to war with us with Reverse October, which. Return us to Kalen. Um, I think we just have to wait for now, which is kind of sucky, but. Okay. I mean, oh, I don't understand why we don't have anything here for. Unlocks decisions for the Liberation Wars. Oh, can we actually do? Okay, so, okay, we can do it. Okay, so I'm like, why can't we do anything here? Because we have no political power. So, this kind of sucks. I'll be honest. This actually really, really sucks. Like, we, we have no political power to do anything. I don't know. With the whole loss of political power earlier on, we got another research slot? This is a bit ridiculous. 0.15. Come on, man. This is, this is a bit much. This is a bit much. We can close that one out. Bury a thaw. I mean, look at all the stuff we can, we, we should be able to do, but we have so many political power debuffs that there's nothing we can do. Until we just, we literally just don't do a focus. So basically, just we'll finish all the focuses, and then we'll be able to do so, apparently. But whether man, many rivers and lakes, hydropower is a feature alternative that we can consider. Sounds good. So I don't know. There's a few issues here that I'd like to see rectified, maybe. I mean, just we get 0.15. I get that we're, we're not still fully united yet. You know, the Soviet government. Ain't 100% of the way there yet. I get it. But at the same time, 
Also, the Russian Empire's over here. I forgot about that. Then a little bit of Vladimir the First. It's kind of cool. But they do have Vladimir Vermov training. Oh, they're basically a German puppet state. All right. The Okran, of course. An active Tsar. A new religious reform. Cynical... Falange, huh? All right. But it's not like we... No, we don't own Volgograd, of course. We don't own Moscow. But we do have a good amount of territory here. Maybe it's not enough, but, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I wish we could do more. Because it seems like it's just kind of petering out. The steam of this campaign has been petering out. Also, when we did the Fate of the Revisionists down here, we did get three more divisions of Spezialnaya Motorized Divisions, probably. Yeah. So they're 18 combat, which is not too bad. They have three... Why would they have three infantry divisions? to slow them down. I don't want to spend army XP, though, right now, just because we need it for our land doctrine. Because we're really not that far down our land doctrine here. We want to get to strategic... Demolition. More land artillery tech, which is not bad, but we get overwhelmingly fire. What is this? Chance of sabotage construction plus 70%. Local strangleholds would be... That's extraordinarily important to get. So you can win almost any defensive war. Plus 15 is insane. But yeah, other than this... Um, yeah, it's definitely snailed down to the cr to a crawl. I just can't agree with earlier, like, all the political power loss we have. Like, I get it. You know, you gotta spend political power to make sure Barry stays in power, which is one of the costs to get him in power, but... I mean, look at all we can do. And we can't do anything now. We should be at war with the Russian Republic. We should easily be at war with the Russian Republic right now, but... It's locked behind political power, which we have none of. Which... I don't know. I, I, I'd i have to play the other factions to see what they're like as well, because not everything's going to be perfect. And I guess... The Wodenstadt's not doing well. How did these guys end up down here in Switzerland? But... Whatever. We do, we do want to integrate these guys as well, so... Um... Yeah, there's just things here that... I don't know. I just can't agree with. Short order the Russian Empire, so... We'll see what happens. Who's leading here? Oh, Speer! Oh, Albert. Oh, Albert. I love Speer Jantino. He's just so much fun. Oh, okay, so now we're gonna just fire on us. Well, that's nice. At least someone's doing something. I don't like they were locked behind all that stuff, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, just casually 0.15 every single day. 0.15 political power. Well, they won't take them too long to go to war with us. Uh, as you can tell, our army's still not great, and now we're done with focuses, and we're locked behind things, because we don't have enough political power. The so-called Russian Republicans are no more. The Soviet Union must now properly handle these revived elements of the whites, give them whatever they deserve for destroying the unity of the Soviet Union. This guy shouldn't be too strong, right? They're not Zukovs. Hopefully not. we got plenty of manpower for now. About literally a tenth of what we have. Uh, we've got some Flamin Vefas. Very nice. Muzzle brakes. Very good. Jet engines are okay. Get some radar facilities, maybe industry stuff, synthetic refineries. Sure, why not? And they go to war with us, but can we just do this and do relatively okay-ish? They do quite a few things here, but yeah. Oh, they're doing force defense too. Look at that. Oh yes, please. Yeah, I've noticed that in Thousand Week Reich. I'm not sure about the other campaigns because I haven't played in vanilla and at the time of this recording in a while. But it seems like they love, love, love doing force defense. Like I, I used to do force attack all the time, but like. A bit ridiculous. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 4,000 versus 12,000. Obviously not as super high, you know, loss of life, but could be better. And we're going to suck on that army XP as much as possible, because my god, do we need it. A strategic demolition? Oh, sure. Thanks, guys. Doesn't matter how many losses we suffer. We need more army XP. They have some trains, they got some support equipment, a few air transport stuff, motorized, mechanized, towed artillery, anti tank, but no guns. What are you, us? Yeah, we're out of 5,400 guns. Which does suck, but whatever. Now, of course, this is our core territory, which is very nice to see. And now we get 1.04 because we're not doing a focus. Yay! I hate not having manpower, man. It sucks so much. I have it through three divisions, not bad, not bad. AD combo with just so that we don't have too many supply issues or nearly as many. Keep going guys, you're doing great. You're doing you're doing a good job. For now. Oh, you're beating back, huh? There's only one division here? Oh, it's not six. Back up to twenty five arm XP, ain't too bad. Allah? Allah. We do it for Allah, my friends. We do it for Allah. We can't even do any of this stuff because we have no political power. Well, I guess it's good for long game, but still. Oh, look at that. That's pretty nice. 100% KPSS and KVD. Oh, yes, please.
I guess you'd really be helping out here. Come on, please do force defense again. I love it. No force the attack, why not? Screw it. The AI does it, why can't we do it? Get Allah, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Erkutsk is looking okay. So we more rows. Could use more millies, though. Uh, so 80, 70. I'll go to... Ah, uh, since you're almost done anyways, get that one done first. July 15th, and there you go. Good job. We'll keep working on some civvies, too. There you go. Still not using our tanks, as you can see. And better radar, with even better radar. Sure, why not? Anything here? No, no traits. Okay, they don't have traits in 1,000 meter right for some reason. It's fine, whatever. Not really a big concern. We've lost 56,000 versus 59,000. We're going to go to show Reich. At this point, go ahead and hold. Do all to hold. I want you to build up some more max planning first. Except for you. I want you to kill these guys off. Let them see if they want to attack us a little bit. Getting more planning done will be very, 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 very beneficial too, so. Um, get you a little more organization as well, then we'll attack here. Okay, that's good enough. Should be able to win there. Good excuse me, against. Oh, see, they are attacking us. That's not bad. Not bad, give us some time. Guys, we're also lacking tons and tons and tons and tons of guns, so. Oh god, uh, are they attacking this way? Oh, is Hadrian still down here? Yep, he is. Handsome man is here. Um, Hadrian might be might have death wish right now, maybe. Go fifteen. You know what? I want to make some actual planes, so let's get at least one of these guys going. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Azerbaijan Social Republic, eh? Still not attacking us, which is fine. We'll just do some simple attacks here and there. Um, they're moving. I'll, I'll attack this area next. Even though it's mountainous, it does suck. Whatever. Oh, we actually have some positive political power. Wow. Wow. This is unusual. Oh, what type of feeling is this? Wow. Oh, are these people sabotage things? Well, we don't own it, so I'm not sure why we get the debuffs. Do we get the debuffs? Do we? Do we not? I'm not really sure. Take the railroad, please, if you do so, may do so. Do so, may do so, yes, yes. Um, we're not that close to capitulating, I'm 32,000. Why is this not a core of ours? We need more cores. We really use more cores. Good. Better air superiority. A beautiful thing, my friends, a beautiful, beautiful thing. You guys can easily go there. Almost no issues, I bet. Especially against militia. Just look how fast they drop. Oh my gosh, that's pretty devastating. That's pretty nice, not gonna lie. Come on, guys, you wanna go to war with us, so why'd you stop attacking? Uh, drop them. Oh, get more than halfway? Yes, please. So plenty of manpower. They still have no guns like us, which is fine. Don't shoot the horses, just shoot the men on the horses. Horses are precious. Animals are precious, human life is not. Oh, can we do something here? Oh, we can actually order convoys, that's cool. Let's go integrate one of these places. That'd be good to do Novosibirsk. Let's do Novosibirsk. I like Novosibirsk. We get minus 3%. Why is it 3%? Seems... A little arbitrary, but it's all for the good of the mod, I guess. We can actually integrate a place. Wow. Is, where's the capital? Is this the Kalins? No, it's, oh, Vladivostok. That makes sense, yeah. Good old Vladi, Vladi, Vladivostok. I want to keep pushing down here somewhere, but where would it be good? I mean, there's a, quite a bit of a river line around here, too. Anti-Soviet... Why do you get anti-Soviet partisans? There's 69,000. Nice. Not terrible. Not great. Ooh, if we could just go here to here. Oh, that'd be so nice. But fighting in the mountains like this is probably a really bad idea. I think with the, taking this tile of these two tiles or these two tiles will be super beneficial. 
Not bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. We never got told they were going to go to war with us. Hold on. So I'm going to redo this then. That's not fair to us at all. So, oh, guys, local swing holds, but we'll see what happens. And here we are at everyone, which I am more prepared now for the Russian Empire to come kill us, as we've actually lost a little bit of ground here in the east. I left 18 divisions here, and on this side, I threw 21, I can't add, 23 divisions here, and then the other six tank divisions as motorized, which come in handy quite a bit, but I decided to start re-recording because, well, they're starting to attack, but casualties first. We've lost quite a few dudes. You know, we've done really well against the Russian uh, Empire government. Fake Russian Empire, but you know, whatever. Now, the goal is to just continue circling enemies. That's the main goal. Just in circle here. And circle and circle, circle, kill them all off. And then send all the infantry back to the east. So, that is the goal. Um, just go there. Take Voronez. So, and I want you personally to go, like, all over there. There you go. Whee! Let's go ahead, boys. Good job. Actually, you just go right there. That'd be great, too. And you take go with them. We'll do a double encirclement. Why not? Good job. Just start taking all the tiles around in here. That's fine. I mean, they're only militia, so they're not that tanky. But with this update, man, it looks like there's going to be a lot of potential campaigns here that we're looking at. Which is great, great, Because I want to spend more time in Thousand Week Reich. Thousand Week Reich just does not get as much love as, like, TNO. Because I love TNO way too much. Um, but, yeah. I think giving this mod more love would be a lot of fun. Especially with Russia here. Please, please, please. Oh, we're doing over here. We're doing okay. Oh, we're missing a lot of lines. We just want to make a few more circumvents and it'll be good. Uh, head out there. Why not? Because you can. We do have some positive political power. Uh, let's see. Uh, head on in. Why not, guys? Oh, uh, Danish monarchy restored. That's fine. How's the civil war going? Not bad. Oh, Germany took out. Wait. Are you fighting the Toronto Accord? No, they're fighting the Danish, though. Oh. And we also have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. At this point, you might just be able to go ahead and just go on in. Yeah, it looks pretty good to us so far. They've... I was really worried that when they declared war me, like, we had no divisions on our border. But after seeing this, they don't have a lot of... Uh, oh, even their, their infantry divisions have a lot of militia in them. I didn't realize it was that bad. But okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll gladly take it. Man, if you can make an encirclement, that'd be so blessed. Good job, guys. You took forever to get up there. Okay, whatever. Nice, good job, guys. Keep it going this way, as these guys are slowly attacking us as well, but this has been so good for getting more army XP. I apologize if I've been a little bit rigid earlier this episode, too. Um, it's just that I just don't want too much frustration, and sometimes this can be quite frustrating, too. Just, when you just don't have enough of anything, it, it, it can be frustrating, so. My apologies if I rubbed you the wrong way. I don't like rubbing people the wrong way. Then again, I don't rub people very often, as I try not to rub them, so. It gets kind of awkward when you start rubbing people. Anyways. Uh, what else do we have here? War Bonds. Afford civilian goods. It's not a bad idea, actually. We get plus 50% civility. Oh, God, we could really use that. Kronsk? Oh, Kursk, not Kronsk. Bransk. Of course, once we take these guys out, and we finish off the Far East, we probably just core all these areas, and we also get... Petrograd. Not a bad thing. Trujillo overthrown. Awesome, awesome. How about we get some more population? 4% more. 4% more. Oh, my gosh. That's so much, people. Love it. <clears throat> Tula, maybe? Yes, no, maybe so. Just digging our way through here like a little crazy group of people would. Oh. Not bad. Hey, more military factories. Thank God we got some more. Go five. Go that much. Go that much. Go that much. Actually, we don't need that much. I think we could probably lower it. Get some more artillery. Uh, yeah, get quite a bit more artillery. Go there too. Uh, get more of that. Get a ton of planes as well. Flammenwerfer, very nice, and actually, so we have tactical bombers here, so we should probably get some of this. Not bad. Up us out there too. Not bad, not bad. If anything, I want you guys to go here to there. That'll be good. And circle all these guys. That'd be quite phenomenal. I just get Moscow. How close to the capitulation? Not that close. How are you guys doing over here? Are you struggling? As you should be. It's fine. Uh, as long as we get these guys done first, I'll be fine. Oh, got more peepee. -pee. I love the peepee. -pee. Organized cultural ex exhibitions, cultural projects, 34 materials. I like that we could do this, but it just takes so long getting political power, like I said before. It's not worth it. Belarusian leadership. Form the... A Ooh, you get stuff here. I like it. That's kind of cool. You actually get different stuff. I like that a lot. That's, that one's actually really nice. Tuvan ASSR. But, you know, I would probably not set it up like this. I mean, it makes more sense maybe that... Uh, maybe that we don't start with a lot of political power. Over time, you get more, but... 
So we need more political power than what we're given here. That's just not fair. It doesn't seem fair at all. The motherland mourns. The premier watches the mother. Well, that is when the sculpted collar is unveiled from the canvas that hides her. That's a relatively lightweight frame for monument, and around the woman, the still scaffolded ruins of Moscow cast a grim backdrop to its hulking, brooding shape. Now the sculptor, Yevgeny Vucetic, is that right, saunters to the premier, his hand extended instead of warmth. Welcome to Moscow, premier. He sweeps his hand at the statue of the mother, its eyes darkened in shadow. Welcome to my little handiwork, if you'll pardon the unfinished stare state. The premier chuckles. Thank you, comrade Vucetic. Even now, I can see the strength in her eyes. The statue exudes the latter, even with the strain visible from the child of the mother's arms. The gaunt look about the mother's face is framed in a subtle, clenched jaws, and her fists are half clenched. Yes, strength and pain fitting. It is a beautiful statue. Vucetic's own eyes grow distant. Do you know, Premier, I planned the statue with my wife on my heart. She did not escape Leningrad, that poor fool. He's whispering now, confession or plea. I thought about how she would look with the child we raised if she had known we would have taken it all back. This will bear her image, even if the face is not hers. Please forgive this little transgression, Premier. The premier's words shocked the little gray-haired man, and if she were here, comrade Vucetic, I knew she would be proud. The blood of our martyrs is shed in hope, and a hand, a hand is proffered. And standing here on sacred ground, I believe that hope has been fulfilled. The two were silent for a long while as the statue watched on. Oh, Beria. Just don't touch any of the girls, please. Please. Ah, oh, that's really good. How many have we killed here? Not enough. That's always the right answer. But we did really, dar really darn well. I was really worried, because you say Russian Empire, I'm like, oh my gosh, how strong are they going to actually be? But are they mostly just militia? I feel pretty okay then. Rezev? Alright, so we can be a little more smart about this. Go the long way around. Ooh, more air stuff? Yes, please. Air support mission efficiency? Yes, please. Good stuff. Tank on tank action, sign us up, my friend. Even though you do, do you seem to be taking a while to move that direction too, but whatever. There you go. You ain't done yet, son. Ooh. Yeah, it's weird really, that we don't have any other traits like that, but. Oh, adaptable, yes, please. How are you guys doing over here? 21. Div oh, do we actually have more divisions here? Oh, don't lose, guys. That's not, that's not cool. It's not cool to lose. But they should be suffering quite a few casualties. And we beat the Russian Empire. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I hope to God no one else tries to go to war with us now, please. <gasps> we have a dockyard. We can actually build a ship. And by one ship, I mean a convoy. A whole one convoys. Can we actually core this stuff? Please let me tell me we can core this stuff. We need to core this stuff. As much as I want to get that research slot. Oh, darn it. We have the Novgorod Soviet Republic, huh? Well, I guess we're going to go for uh, finding state universities next. Soviets. Alright, so you guys come back here. Let's get you on the line, and we'll combine you guys together again. Alright. You guys are great. Good job, guys. I appreciate your uh, efforts. It's not the Einheit's back. Oh, there's nothing there. The pro-German front. Oh. Huh. Liga. Carlos Stump. 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 Fellow Russian Soviet Republic. Yeah, that's pretty good that they're actually together. Nice. Good job, guys. Are you a puppet of each other or just allies? Yeah, you're both. Oh, you're a puppet, actually. Dmitry Medvedev. Dmitry. Dmitry. Alright, here we go. That's worth it now. That's good to get. You guys over there? Yep. Yeah, they're working on it. And what else do we have? We're building up a lot of roads, which is nice. Don't get me wrong. I love the roads. 70% is pretty nice, too. Could use more millies, though. There you go. Go three. Because we're going to need a lot of factories. Gun-wise, how are we doing? We're doing okay. I can lower by two, maybe? Anti-tank by... I don't want to lower up too much just yet, either, though. You already on the line? Almost? Beautiful. Then we'll probably do a general attack. Thank you, thank you. All together now. Excavation dose. Toast. Naval stuff, doesn't really matter. We'll do it anyways, because we can. Three. Can we do an invasion? It might be best to wait for some of these other guys. They're just taking forever. Yeah, they take so long sometimes. I don't understand why. But since we have a little bit of army XP, I don't mind using maybe a little bit of it. You guys are okay. You had nothing on you guys. Okay, that's not great. Maintenance companies would be actually pretty good to get. Yeah. I like to support artillery for a little more soft attack. Logistics would be very good, though. Yeah. Go logistics. Because we need... Just need more. <clears throat> and get another medium. Uh, actually, no. We might want to go main battle tanks. 
We do have 87 of them, so actually that would not be bad. Alright, main battle tanks. How many do we have? Not enough. But that's always going to be the case. That's literally always going to be the case. We have you guys too. Oh, God, I forgot about this. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, why do I make them 20 combo with? I'm so used to making them 20 combo with. It's not even funny. Oh, well, whatever. Support already. Uh, logistics. Save on fuel a little bit. It's fine. Whatever, I made them 20 combo with. They'll still be fine, probably. Whatever. Go in if you can. Because they're over here, they're down here. Um, honestly, instead of going there, can you go right there maybe? You can take these guys out, circle all these guys, and then they'll die. Nice. Not there yet. Good, these guys have been cut off. Great! Oh, it includes some APC divisions, or some mechanized, some tank divisions. So, oh, that's so good. Time to put these guys back on the ground where they belong. Alright, improved worker conditions, new housing projects. Let's do that one. I want more stability. Affordable civilian goods. M public discontent, huh? Culture boon? Mm. Why do we still have a fractured party? It doesn't look very fractured to me, honestly. So I don't understand why we still have that. So Public discontent, still pretty bad, though. Not good. What do we expect? I expect better things. AKM? Sure, why not? We should be able to win the war here now. And, uh, which one? We need to get rid of Sergei, maybe. Fractured part, which we should honestly still not have, but whatever. And what is this one? Economic downturn with peasant union shambles. Yeah, no. If anything, we should get more political power back. They're very skimpy on political power in this, in this campaign. Good. Which one's uh, should we attack bomber? Who attack bomber? No. There we go. My bad. Anything else we do here? Well, since we got him, we can't go to PC yet. New housing projects. We could do that. Other tomatoes. Pay the Tuvan SSR. Form the SSRs. We can wait to do that one. Or those ones. Return capital Moscow. Oh, yeah. The old capital of the Soviet Union, Moscow, has been liberated. Though it lies in ruins, it's show of its former self. We must return the capital of Moscow officially to show that once a fractured nation is no more. That stability is not bad. Do we get a core on it? We don't have a core. If we don't have a core on it, then we can't make it a capital, right? Right. Good. You guys still looking pretty good? Uh, get some more civvies, or, yeah, civvies. Civvies would be nice. Uh, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 50. 50. 80. Keep working on the millies, though. My goodness, do we need them? Air Doctrine, yes. Not bad. As you can tell, we will have one more episode in this campaign just to see what, what can happen in the future. Um, so we can unite all of us together, once again, into one big old happy family. As we're destroying the stupid greens, I guess we'll call them here. They're really the whites, but greens, whatever. Oh! oh. Killing each other again, huh? Wow! What happened there? German Compromise? They say they're going to have a German Compromise, but then they immediately kill each other again. Nice job, guys. Nice. Oh! Oh, boy. A city of savages overrun by savages. Well then. They were going to have a non-aggression pact, but then they decided to kill each other again some more. Oh, what is that? Oh my god, that's huge. That's beautiful. I love it. Oh, Albert Speer, you need to keep working on the, in your projects here. Oh my goodness. That is big and beautiful. We like them big and beautiful here. Why spread out? Just attack. Nice. So we can kill these enemy divisions off. Oh, everyone doesn't like the Oldenstadt. What's wrong with you? Kill them off here. Beautiful. And now it's just going to be slowly kind of kill them all back. New Greek leadership? No one cares. Uh, new housing projects? Ah, eh, sure, why not? And Bennett is gone. Goodbye, Bennett. G goodbye. Schwartz Merdeutsch Liga. Schwartz. Oh, that's a nice light blue Serbia. Oh, I love Dmitry Lutic. Lutic. Lutic? Lutic? Unpopular figurehead? What? Oh, maybe not. They have your own faction? No. The Mediterranean pack. Toronto Accords, of course. Some K dude and his. Who the heck are you? You are market liberal. Alright, whatever. Use of napalm? I love gunning down the masses. 
Let's see the Chewy Cubs. It's, he loves the number five. Like five skill level, but then five attack, five defense, five logistics, and five planning and coordination. Or what do we call it? Planning, speed, max planning. He's big on the number five. How many kids does he have? Five. How old is he? He's probably 55. How many ex-wives does he have? Probably five as well. Not bad. Green in a lot of areas. Not, not all the areas, though. Mechanized. Um, APCs are where it's at. Uh -uh. Yeah, this bomb, I'm not going to remove it. That cost actually put apart. Army XP. Army XP, yeah. That's the word I'm looking for. And we might as well save some political power here so we can actually do stuff. Like, integrate the Far East, or Baratia, or Oslin. Actually, Oslin would be really good, but we don't own Minsk. Karelia? Ultimatums to all these other places? Renewed sense of guidelines. For the longest time, the Perm government utilized active suppression on most activities for the sake of national security. This period of time saw a drought in creativity and cultural output, with the masses being preoccupied by recovery efforts and their livelihoods. But, with the economy finally stabilizing and the people becoming more wealthy, Levant Juberia sees this as a time for him to introduce groundbreaking reforms while this act was purely motivated by his desire to improve his image. The system will be able to enjoy the results. Cultural exhibitions. Um, less restrictions on foreign publications. I mean, this is nice and all. Oh, we can actually execute. Executed. Fighting corruption? Yeah, let's do this one. When a movie loses a thousand manpower, fighting corruption? It was political power. Consumer goods goes down. That's ability. What happens if we do that? How much corruption do we have here? Union shambles. Fracture party. Red army is okay. No? Maybe that was a waste to do then. Yeah, it probably was a waste. Good. Land doctrine. Non combat, out of supply penalties. Well, that's not bad. Infiltration assault's not bad. And we go over here, subversive talks, join faction tension limit, inter international support. Sounds like the right one we should do, yeah. Sounds like the right one for us to do here. Uh, guys, it'd be easy if you just do this. You can kill that other infantry division so I get no supplies. Blagoveshensk. Keep working on the military. We're going to need to beat some German boys here eventually, too. Even though they are getting pretty weakened at this point. There you go. There you go. We're going to get a whole lot of things here, man. A whole lot of things. Taking a while, but that's okay. As long as number go up, I'm happier. Oh, we should have air here, too, right? Oh, I guess we don't. Wow. Why? Why do you only... I don't understand. Oh, it's because the enemy took some planes away as well when they went to war. That's I hate that so much. Why does it affect our aircraft? Just take them out of supply, man. Oh, boy. Happy 59, everybody. Let's see. Come back up here. Fire attack and piercing. Thank you. Nice. There you go. That's a little better. Bulgandan ex executed. Might as well in five days. There we go. That's looking a little better now. And do we kill them all off? They've lost 442,000. No, they have up to 23 divisions. Oh, there are 10 divisions stuck up there, but Bogan and executed. Early yesterday morning, NKVD officers and agents quickly drove up to and surrounding Nikolai Bogan's Arctic Dhaka and arrested the Minister of Arctic Fisheries. Charged with accepting bribes and finish upping corporations, the minister was quickly arranged in front of a show trial early this morning after only 37 minutes. The presiding legal Thoitka unanimously voted to find the minister guilty of the charges and sentenced him to be shot. The minister was afforded the chance to give any last words, which he said, I feel no need to dignify the wishes of a fat man in the Kremlin. He was then shot by firing squad and his body cremated and thrown to the wind. Yay! The minister had a turbulent career under Stalin, avoiding purges and rising through the ranks of the party. This loyalty to Stalin vanished upon the latter's death, after which the minister became a supporter of the Bukharinists for forms and embracing a limited market to renovate the nearly destroyed USSR. Under Secretary Kalinin, he gained influence under the revisionist wing of the party, and a lukewarm alliance with the Secretary Beria continued this. Only with a recent suspected coup attempt did the minister fall from grace and rapidly find himself in a powerless position. His execution only confirmed those suspicions, and he has retroactively been condemned, and his supporters have begun to be purged and removed from government positions. Farewell, bootlicker. Get more political power and stability. Bugannon dies. Not bad. Now, can we get some political power without having to do no focuses? <laughs> Please? We can actually hire someone else to be over here, too. That's not bad. Not great. Mm, it's okay. 
Bar top. Hey, maybe him. That's, a, that's actually really strong. Holy crap. Better consumer goods and more stability. I like that a lot. That's not bad either. Uh, Ignatiev. Ooh, that's okay. Hmm, that's not worth it at all. Hmm. It's okay. Not great. Banikov. It's okay. Oh, so this guy's really good. Uh, Andre, Andre, Andreev. Can you imagine if your name's all the exact same thing? Oh, there goes Germany. They died. Ustinov. Bulganin is now dead. Oh my god, here are construction speed so much. That's a lot of political power. Honestly, for all the, all the debuffs you get, 25% is not bad. Not bad at all. Um, here, special forces because you can. Because why not? That's kind of vision. It's nice. Finish them off, guys. Mm, restoration of the trick exiles. All right. Well, at least we're still getting some army XP. Not as much as I would like, but whatever. Lichtenstein restored. We'll see how long that lasts. Swiss government restored. We'll see how long that lasts too. And we have a of stock. Yay! It took us way too long to get this one done. Thank God it's over, though. Jesus Christ. Jeremy surrenders. And we can do Fate of the Whites. But after we do something else here. Ooh, re replace leadership. NKVD coup. Huh. Anything else that we really care about? Honestly, not really. It's not worth doing any of that stuff. Don't need that one either. Re rebuild Moscow. Ooh. Moscow, the heart of the motherland, was mercilessly raped by the German beast. It's time to re nurse the capital back to life. A new Kremlin will be constructed, as well as the destruction of all Nazi memorials. It's rebuilt in Petersburg. Oh, wow. That would not be bad to do as either. But, we gotta go to war with other people, too. And we want to integrate a lot of these areas as well, so... Uh, do the one that's more expensive first. And the one we'll go to war with first is... Come of Uzbekistan? Uzbekistan. Yeah, yeah, let's do that one. Alright, and Commander 2. Fate of the Whites. Great Refugee Crisis. Always Europe and the Refugee Crises. Jesus, guys. Can't you contain yourselves? So what's Rex Commissar at Ukraine going to do? Oh, look at that. That is... That is disgusting. Why would... Why? Why is it like this? Why would you give them... This... This area. Niederschlissen or whatever it's called. Why does Poland look so weird? I mean, don't get me wrong. A big Poland's kind of cool and all, but... Why is <sighs> total disarmament German Confederal Union? This th this is looks so wrong. It just looks so god awful. Why is Croatia this long too? Oh my goodness! TA Italian settlement agreed. All right. Well, whatever. All I care about is that we can reunify ourselves. So, um, you know what? Good thing it's probably going to end us here for this camp this part of the campaign. It'll be one more episode. Well, the Germans gone. Uh, I guess the goal is just to uh, reunite everybody here. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. As we will not have the NKVD here anymore, but we'll go ahead and try to refinish reuniting everyone that should be in Russia. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.